When we're editing our videos together, we use text to communicate vital information to the viewer. Perhaps we're looking to produce exciting beginning or end titles, set a new scene with a change in location or time, or even introduce a new character into our story. Usually our text sits on top of our video content in a block bold colour designed to help it stand out from the background. But with text masking, we flip this idea on its head and we fill our text with the video underneath it. Using this effect can really emphasise a specific word or theme, give context to the subject of our video and draw our audience's eye to where we want their attention. This editing technique might seem complex, but the truth is it's easier to achieve than it looks. And there are several ways that you can use it in your videos to add a more creative flair. To get started, you'll need to place the video that you'd like to fill your text with on the timeline. This is the video we're going to see on screen. So to do that, I'm going to drag my chosen piece of content down from the media library and place it on the main track here. Next, you're going to add an overlay title to the timeline using the add clip icon. You'll see a piece of text appears on screen. This needs to be layered on top of your content for however long you want it to play for. So adjust the positioning if you like with the trimming handles. Double tap on the title layer to open the title editor, where you're now going to proceed to personalize your text with your chosen wording, font style and size. Remember, you can always change this later on. So get creative here and have a play with the look and feel to see what suits your project best. Next, you're going to change the color of the text to a bright, bold color. This is what we're going to key out. So I'm going to choose green. You can add a text outline in a different color if you like, as I'm doing here. So once you've done that, you're going to collapse this text layer and use the add layer icon, this little plus here, to add a shape to your title. This will form the background to your text. So ensure it fills the screen by pinching out on the rectangle, or you can of course use the scale slider on the right. And then move this behind the text by collapsing the shape layer and using the change order icon to drag the shape behind your text. All you need to do now is head down to the color and effects tab, tap on the chroma key icon and add effect to key out the color of your text. So I'm going to add the green screen key here. Now you'll notice that we can see the layer below. We can see that video on the timeline that's placed underneath our title. It's useful to remember that the size and the boldness of your text will determine how much of the video can be seen. So keep this in mind when you're deciding how much text to have on screen and of course when you're choosing your font type. Take time to position your video and text layer to ensure the best bits of your video are seen. You can always add keyframes to the movement of your video underneath if necessary. Now, if you want to take your text masking skills up a level, why not have a practice with filling the text with video and having video playing in the background of that same clip? So you've got two videos playing at once. So to do this, you'll need to export an initial video of your brightly colored text on a video background of your choice. Export it to the rendered movies folder to flatten the layers and bring it back into the timeline. Place the clip that you want to fill the text onto the main track, then move the rendered clip on the layer above it. Double tap on the rendered movie and key out the fill color from the text to reveal the video below. So as we've seen, text masking is a really fun and creative effect that you guys can produce right at home right now. So if you need to practice, go back over this video step by step, pausing as and when you need to so you can get it just right. Once you've practiced a little, you can get even more creative with it. Perhaps you can play around with multiple clips or shapes under your text using a variety of layers, colors and opacity levels. Or you could even add transitions to the title like a cross dissolve. Let us know how you get on with text masking in the comments below. And don't forget, you can join us at the LumaTouch Academy for a range of live and interactive workshops designed to improve your editing skills. I'll see you there.